Welcome back and in this lesson I'm going to uh, talk about something that I missed in the previous lessons but they are very very important uh, when it comes to uh, reporting logistic regression analysis results and uh, that is uh, when uh, you perform bivariate logistic uh, regression for example uh, I performed this one for the number of sexual partners uh, you find that you have these odds ratios and the p-value at bivariate analysis and those that one is this one is called the crude odds ratio. So the odds ratios that you get from a bivariate analysis is called the crude odds ratios and uh, their corresponding p-values are right here and the 95% confidence interval. And when you come to multivariate logistic regression, uh, you also find that you get p-values and odds ratios as well as 95% confidence interval. And these odds ratios are called the adjusted odds ratios and it is um, what we actually consider final but when it comes to writing the report uh, you are supposed to report all these odds ratios both the crude and the adjusted plus their corresponding p-values uh, so uh, just to compare or throw some knowledge when you look at the adjusted odds ratios here when you consider other dicta variables in the model uh, you find that the um, uh, odds ratios reduced from for those ones more having more than one sexual partners reduced from 24 to 20.90 and then those ones with none are reduced from 11 actually increased from 3.38 to 10.74 so when you're writing a report you're supposed to capture all these odds ratios and uh, their corresponding p-values and 95 percent confidence intervals so uh, that is uh, how important uh, it is to note that you can report both the crude odds ratio and the adjusted odds ratios well, when you have performed a multivariate and bivariate logistic regression. I think so much. See you in the next class. Editing.